A nearly 60-year-old St. Cloud building is looking for some financial help from the government to get a much-needed upgrade. The Minnesota National Guard Readiness Center, formerly known as the Armory, was built in 1960 and with the change in our society is no longer meeting today's demands. Major General John Jensen says they are looking at nearly $9 million to rehabilitate the building to better serve the St. Cloud community. Uh, it's a big unit. It has great proximity to Camp Ripley, very close to a major state university, and it's got great infrastructure when you look at transportation. St. Cloud is a key uh, uh, note for the Minnesota National Guard in, in the state of Minnesota. Major Patrick Foley is the officer in charge of the 682nd Engineer Battalion, which is the largest unit stationed at the facility. He says some of the key repairs include expanding lock rooms and restrooms, HVAC upgrades, better accessibility, and a 15,000 square foot expansion. What we're requesting for in the, in the bonding is to recapture this on the ground level with some usable square footage for both administrative space and storage space, and then to create a mechanical mezzanine on top that can feed this wing of the facility as well as tie into the, the main center point of the facility. Governor Mark Dayton is recommending about $4.45 million in state bonding money to go towards the St. Cloud Armory project. Minnesota Department of Administration Commissioner Matt Mossman says it's important to upkeep the buildings the state currently has. The governor has made a, a strong case for a priority of this bonding bill being to take care of the needs and assets that we already have uh, across the state of Minnesota. The St. Cloud facility has over 300 soldiers assigned to it. If the funding is approved, they hope to begin remodeling in the summer of 2019, which could take about 18 months to complete. Reporting from St. Cloud, Alex Wykowski, WJON.